that confirmed haunted house. I'm by myself. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm doing the 3 a.m. challenge at a haunted house. I'm by myself at a haunted house at 3 o'clock in the morning. Devil's hour. The whole entire goal for today is make contact with the dead through ritual, through any way possible. If you could go to a haunted house by yourself at 3 in the morning, good for you. If you couldn't, drop a big like on this one, guys. Let's get it. Alright guys, so it's officially 3 o'clock in the morning right now, about to go right up in this place right now. I'm so scared, like, imagine coming into a place like this all by yourself, guys. So I've already been in a house like this, well actually I've been in this exact one, it is confirmed to be haunted. And um, I got the body cam all set up right here. Somebody really died in here, guys, like it's been official. So, good thing I know the layout already, but um, there could be anybody in here, like homeless people. There's like scratches on the walls, guys. Man, I don't know. This is probably a bad idea. This place is really torn up, guys. So I'm going to be trying to make contact with the dead. I'm only going to be here for Devil's Hour, which is 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So I'm going to only spend a little bit of time in every room trying to make contact. Let's just have a look around the house. I have to be really careful because you see there are holes in the ground, guys. And there is a basement. So um, if I fall through, if one of these boards are rotted, it could be bad news. I'm by myself, nobody would even know I'm really here. And I, it could be fatal. But check out the walls here, guys. Check out the walls. Like, everything's peeling off. It's a bat. Guys, there's a fucking bat. Whoa, do you see that, guys? There's a fucking bat in here. What the fuck? Do you see that? There's bats. Whoa. Whoa. You see, yeah, you guys see that. You guys see that? Holy goddamn. All right, so, uh, man, I, whoa, 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 it's a fucking bat. Jesus. Guys, that bat is like flying right close to my face. I don't know, it's freaking me the hell out. So basically, I'm not spending a lot of time on this first floor. I'm gonna run upstairs. Definitely gonna check out the cellar, guys. It's really, really scary down there. Like I said, I've been here before. I gotta get past that bat, guys. I'm just gonna run right up the stairs. That thing's flying way too close. Guys, I just ran outside. Basically, I was going to go upstairs. A big bat swooped down in my face. There's like more than one bat. There's bats everywhere in this freaking house. Last time I came here, there was winter time and there was no bats. Obviously, it's winter. But now there's freaking bats. That's like crazy, man. They're swooping right at my face. I think they're attracted to this light here. If I go in there and I get attacked again by bats, there's another house, like a small house, like right up over there, and it's abandoned as well. It's like the old barn house of it. So I'll try to make contact over there with the spirits if the bats are too intense in here, guys. But there's a lot of bats, so just forgive me on that part. I really think I should go back in, but man, guys, there's so much friggin' bats in there. Whoa, what the? I'm not even lying. They were going way too close to my head. I tried to go upstairs, and there was like one in the friggin' stairwell of the stairs just swoop right down. I had to run out of the friggin' house here. But, uh, first of all, I'm alone, and second of all, there's a shit ton of bats in there. So, let's go over to the barn. Hopefully, there's no bats in there. Yeah. All right, I'm here at the barn park. There's a friggin' chair right at the entrance, guys, which is really, really scary, and it's facing me. But I'm going to point the camera. I'm going to walk towards there right now, guys. This is really, really scary. Let me turn up the light. All right, guys, so I'm walking up. There's barrels. There's that chair. You see that chair? It's pointing right at me. It's sort of creepy. You know what? Come to think about it, there's probably going to be bats in here, too. Probably going to be bats. Is there any bats? I don't know, guys. Let's keep on moving. No bats in sight. Checking up there. No bats. I got some no bats. That's a good sign. I'm going to be completing the rest of the 3 a.m. challenge right up here. Just going to look a little bit farther around here. What the fuck is this? It's a mirror. That's pretty cool. There's a thing called the devil challenge or the devil's mirror or something like that. The devil's mirror challenge. I'm not really sure what it's called, guys, but it involves a mirror. And you know what? You actually have to do it at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's part of the like rules to the game. So probably going to do the devil mirror challenge with this mirror in the barn. I'm going to put the mirror 
against here. I'm probably gonna sit in that chair. And I brought candles because my original plan, guys, was to set up a pentagram, see if I can make contact to the spirits that way, ask if there's any spirits in the room. But we do need candles for the Devil's Mirror Challenge, so good thing I brought them. That's awesome. All right, guys, so to play the Devil's Mirror Challenge, you gotta put 12 candles down around it and then light them on fire. I actually do have 12 candles. I brought 13, but uh, the Devil's Mirror Challenge only takes 12 candles, so I'm gonna set that right up. And in order for this to work, it has to be three o'clock in the morning, which it is, and you need to light all the candles around the mirror and then say devil 12 times, and then you look at the mirror and you're supposed to be able to see the devil. So. This place is haunted, yeah, confirmed nice. haunted. Somebody had died here, so this is a really good spot to try to make contact, play the devil's game, just lighting these candles up. Before I do that, I just want to tell you guys, I'm giving a shout out to my top contributors on Gawk Box on the next episode, so if you guys want to get a shout out, make sure you go click in the link on the description and go play as many of the games as you can. It's 100% free. All the top contributors will be getting a shout out on tomorrow's video. The ad revenue is still messed up gawk box is the only way that i can get paid and it doesn't cost you guys anything to donate you just play games so it's that easy top contributors will be getting a shout out tomorrow so make sure you go check out gawk box guys so i'm just gonna light all this up and then we're gonna start the devil's challenge guys got all the candles lit right here so i'm gonna look right into the mirror i gotta say the devil or i gotta say devil 12 times and then I should be able to see the devil in my reflection in the mirror guys So when I point the camera right here, it looks like you can see my feet But I, from where I'm looking I can see my face. So guys, okay, I'm gonna start doing this. All right, so devil 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 Devil, 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 devil. Whoa, guys, the candles just went out. Falls. I don't see anything, though. That's really weird. All the candles just went out, guys. I didn't see anything on my reflection. But that's really creepy. I'm getting sort of scared. I must have did that wrong, but the candles blew out. That's so strange. But anyways, I'm going to try again. Devil. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Did you guys fucking see that? I don't know if I captured that. Guys, the fucking mirror just moved. I said it one more time. That was the 13th time I said devil. The fucking mirror just fucking moved. My heart's fucking beating. Guys, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I gotta get the fuck out of here, guys. Drop a big like. I'll see you in the next one, guys.